Uh, today's subject is that um, Jesus told, you know, Peter, okay, you have to forgive 70 times, seven times. Um, before we discuss these verses, that you know, we go to Psalm uh, 50, verse 10. It said, uh, For every animal of the forest is mine, and the cattle on thousand hills. Now, in here, uh, there are thousand hills, and then the Jehovah is God of Israel, and then when you count all the you know, hills, maybe you know less than thousand. Who knows? <laughs> However, that you know, uh, uh, we may you know, uh, you know interpret that uh, you know real one thousand, no you know uh, no meaning of the real one thousand. Okay, so. Another word, from thousand one, if there is any more in thousand ones, uh, you know, in a uh, hill or a mountain, then that does not belong to God. You know, we can interpret it this way, but maybe only one me, but most of them, most of them believe. You know, that is perfect number. What is 1,000 means? 1,000 means 10 times 10 times 10 make it 1,000. This 10 is a perfect number and this is comparatively uh, uh, you know, 10 and this is the most, okay? So another 10. So altogether 1,000 means that, you know, uh, meaning that Everything belong to you know God. <clears throat> so, who use this kind of you know uh, interpretation? If we compare to you know another culture, you know things like that, then we may be able to okay. Who use number ten as perfect number? Then we may be able to figure out, okay, the Psalm 50, uh, 50 could be written such and such because we may be, you know, compared to another, another culture, then we may be, uh, figure out when. <clears throat> now, let's go back to the original thing. Uh, there are many uh, mentioning of a uh, number seven. God create earth in seven days, and the seventh day, God rest, and also even the land. There's a Sabbath year for the land. Uh, land so. Uh, we cannot, you know, uh, use the land. And the Joseph's, you know, dream that, you know, uh, uh, seven could harvest, seven drought. Many of them. And uh, uh, Jacob, you know, um, uh, served seven more years to Raban. And uh, also, you know, uh, God told that, you know, whoever want to kill a cane, they're going to be punished seven times. So the meaning of seven, oh, perfect. Now on the top of that, there's two seven, seven, seven. For instance, uh, Leviticus you know, 25 and uh, uh, verse 8, there is Joyful, uh, joyful year, seven times seven, forty-ninth year. Also, we uh, we uh, talk about you know uh, um, 
the feast is also seven times seven. You know, harvesting, harvesting, you know, uh, uh, barley or uh, uh, wheat. So this is the way they try to interpret, you know, uh, this is a very important two number, two number, you know, seven, seven. One thing in interesting in here is that um, in Buddhism, uh, there are, there are, you know, kind of a rule, <clears throat> 49 the festival. I think, you know, this kind of a thing may be, you know, um, from, from India to Israel, you know, that many scholars, you know, uh, so, uh, you know, you know, mentioning about this one. So, let's go back to uh, system. Uh, Sumerian, the, the first, you know, uh, civilization, a uh, country, Sumerian, they used 60 system. So we have, you know, uh, uh, 60 days, 60 seconds, things like that, that is uh, invented by uh, Sumo country. And in India, they use a three uh, system. Uh, like in Ayurveda, they said uh, Vita, Pita, Kapha, you know, there are three systems. And uh, in China, they use, you know, uh, uh, four system. So what is seven means? Seven means three times four, Make it seven. What is four? You know, east, west, north, and south. So that's, you know, uh, 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 four direction. And the three means that, you know, uh, uh, trinity or something like that. And also uh, heaven, uh, earth, and there is, you know, uh, a human being. So three plus four means, you know, uh, it's also uh, according to the Bible, that's in the uh, perfect number. So they try to use seven system, but it's not, you know, uh, um, you know, spread to all country. It's ten system, which is uh, invented in India, uh, it moved to um, the Islam countries and then this uh, this system moved to and eventually uh, moved to Nova you know, Europe. So based upon all this, 70 times seven you have to forgive does not mean okay, I can forgive the 490 uh, 470 times and after 471 I become angry I don't have to forgive. No, what that means is we have to forgive all the time. But you know, um, let's look at you know a, a church, and the many many inside of the church. Uh, in, interesting is that even though they they make one mistake, they become so angry <laughs> they don't forgive many times. This is the reality. We are, we don't follow based upon the Bible. We follow the way I want. What do you think? So we are, um, based upon this one that, you know, uh, we, we could say uh, uh, from this one, we may be able to chase, okay, when they use this system, then we know when some written, we can trace it there. Is it an interesting idea? Thank you so much for your watching.